In addition to launching Will Smith's comeback, Sony's eagerly awaited sequel Bad Boys, Ride or Die helped revive a flagging summer box office. According to Deadline, the fourth Bad Boys film made a solid $56 million at the domestic box office, on top of a $104.6 million global opening. The follow-up achieved the greatest opening for an R-rated film since Oppenheimer's $82.3 million July opening. A commercial is presently playing on the video player. On a mouse or keyboard, you can skip the advertisement in 5 seconds. When the fall guy fared below expectations, many were concerned about the summer box office prospects. However, this was not the case for Bad Boys, Ride or Die which is set to restore Smith's reputation after over two years of negative publicity stemming from his 2022 Academy Awards slap of Chris Rock. It exceeded both the original tracking, which came in at $50 million, and its most recent forecasts of $40 million. This weekend, the movie made a good $14,414 per screen average at the box office when it opened in 3,885 cinemas. With an international premiere of $48.6 million and a worldwide debut of $104.6 million off an estimated $100 million budget, it performed admirably in overseas countries as well. The film's debut is slightly less than that of its predecessor, Bad Boys for Life, 2020 which had a $90 million budget and opened to $62.5 million before going on to earn $206.3 million domestically and $426.5 million worldwide. In 1995, Michael Bay made his directing debut in the Bad Boys franchise with Smith's Mike Lowry and Martin Lawrence's Marcus Burnett. Produced on a meager $19 million budget, the movie brought in $65.8 million domestically and $141.4 million internationally. Following in the footsteps of its predecessor, Bad Boys 2, 2003, brought in $138.6 million domestically and $273.3 million internationally on a $130 million budget. Last week's top earner at the box office, the Garfield movie, fell to second place with $10 million. Bad Boys, Ride or Die defeated it, with $8 million if maintained its third position, while M. Night Shyamalan's daughter Ishano Shyamalan's latest picture, The Watchers, had its debut with $7 million. At the box office, it debuted in 3,351 theaters and only earned an average of $2,088 per screen. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, with $5.4 million, completed the top five. The Strangers, Chapter 1, $1.8 million, $32.2 million, Q, The Fall Guy, $2.7 million, $85.1 million, and Furiosa, A Mad Max Saga, $4.2 million, $58.7 million domestic, complete the top 10. In a Violent Nature, $640,000, $3.6 million, and The Dumpster Battle, $820,448, $5.7 million. Run Lola Run, which made $153,908 from 275 cinemas for an average of $559 per screen, is also making a comeback to theaters for its 25th anniversary. The much-awaited cartoon sequels Inside Out 2, Reverse the Curse, and Just the Two of Us are coming out next weekend.